Welcome back to Metal Gear Rising. My name is Spade, and I believe this is going to be the final episode, unless this guy is going to pull like a freeze on us, but we have kind of already battled him in several different stages and forms, kind of, so... I would say this is going to be the final battle, and oh, get out of dodge there. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. But anyways, I, got him and I have gotten my ass beaten several times by this guy, but... Oh! 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 But I still made progress and I've been just basically trying to uh, learn this guy's uh, pattern and I have made some... Oh, come on! That was cheap! He just pushed me over to the fire. And now he's gonna do the... And this time I didn't even have even enough time to freaking escape. Okay. And now he's gonna explode again. Okay. Okay. And now we wait. Is he going to charge at me? Yes, he is. Oh. Love that. And he keeps on exploding like crazy. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. But now if I go there, hopefully I won't be getting destroyed. Uh, no! Yeah. Don't do that. Oh! Oh! Let's go. Oh! Block that. And now he's gonna do his throwing of the stuff. And hopefully I can uh, slice these uh, parts up correctly because I had some trouble in the past but I I should have this I think I got this all right let's go Whoa. slice that Whoa. slice that in Whoa. there we go all right all right we're doing good we're making some progress hopefully this will work out and he's pissed he's angry he's ready to go but so are we so are we and I think he left some good stuff here. Ah! Oh no! 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 Ah! Oh no! 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 Triangle! No! I was circled this time. Oh no! Must get a charging pack. And sword! Sword! Come on, sword! Sword! Circle! Do something! Give me sword! Thank you. Oh! Oh! A, a bad camera angle! That was horrible, kinda. Oh! oh. There we go. Oh. Is he. No, what is he going to do? Oh no, he's healing! No, he's pulling the hole. No, I. I thought I got the right spot! Oh, yeah, he's really annoying. And uh, how am I supposed to. Okay, now I can. Uh, why? Why does this keep on happening? Okay. Uh. Uh. No. No. What? And now. Okay. Well, that went really badly. You have to like cut this back whenever he's pulling a hold. And turning green. But that's. Yeah. Didn't go according to plan, and he was able to heal a bunch of himself. And. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, is he now going to do elbow drop? What do I press? Circle? Yes, okay. Okay. Must get sword back, and we could still potentially have this. Although that kind of just went badly when he pulled the hole. Alright, got the sword. Uh, what? What kind of camera angle is this? What kind of camera angle is this? I had no idea he was going to explode. I had no idea and I can't see anything. Oh. Oh. This is horrible. Where is he? Okay, he's over there. Oh. Oh. Bloggity block. In. Oh. There was an extra hit. I didn't think he would do that. Still extra hits. Yes. One more. Oh no. No, no, he caught me. No, and he's gonna do like that. Does every time like twenty-five percent? Oh, but now he's gonna. Oh no, he's gonna be throwing some good stuff at us. Oh man, oh man, but he's uh, below one hundred ninety-seven point five. Yep. Yep. In. In. Yes. Alright. 
So far, so good. Is he dropping good stuff? Okay. Well, there is one over there, but he's gonna. Oh, oh, oh. Tap, 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 tap. Is that triangle this time or circle? No! Square! Square! Tapping square! Tapping square! Yes, yes, yes! Boom! And still something triangle? No, it was X! It was X this time! It was X! Oh! Must get the good stuff! And also must get sword. Yep! I should probably try and use like a healing pack. And... Uh, uh... Wait, over here. Okay. 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 Give me a break. Time out here, man. Yup! Yup! Still blocking. Oh no! Oh wait, I thought he was going to do the... Oh no, he's pulling a hold. Yup! There we go, this time, going better. Okay, uh, uh, let's go! Can I? Can I? Can I do this? Yup! Oh, he, I thought I could get him down, but of course, nope! Nope, and now a combination attack and explosion get out of dodge. And stay here. Is he coming this way? Nope, he's not, he's not. 40%. Oh no, how did that work out exactly? Oh no, explosion. Get out of dodge. Get out of dodge. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. And there goes my sword. Elbow drop. Which button? X or circle or what? Circle it is. Yes. Got this. Whew. Oh. 22%. 22% and some. Okay. Let's go. Uh, uh, but now he's gonna... Can I block somewhere? Uh, no! Too late. Too late. I didn't really see which way he was coming. Oh no! Uh, get out of dodge! Get out of dodge! No! Oh! Block that! Block that! And now he's gonna be throwing some good stuff at us again. Okay. I must get this right. Don't want to lose now, because these hits hurt if I can't do this right. Let's go! Oh, this one is going up, and this one is kind of going sideways, and I tried my best, but it didn't really work out. No! No! What's going on now? Am I... Yes! Ah! Spin! Escape! Escape! Get the sword! And, oh wait, now he's gonna... Uh, do that! Alright, we block that! And... Uh, uh, oh! Look at that! Look at that! Oh no! What do I do? Okay! Combination! Oh! Look at that! Is he done for? Is he finally done for? What do we press now? Uh. This can't be over yet, can it? Action commands? No! Ah! Tapping square! Tapping square! Yes! Ah! Headbutt! Oh, look at that! Do I? Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Finally! Huh. Good stuff comes out! As the sword goes in! <sighs> well, that was something. Cutscene. Well done, Jack. Your dream dies with you. Oh, maybe not. You've guaranteed the status quo will go on. For a while longer, at least. War. Will continue as an institution, as an industry. Men will fight for reasons they don't understand, causes they don't believe in. But at least I'll leave a word.
worthy successor. You, Jack. You carve your own path. Use whatever methods you see fit. <coughs> you don't let legal bullshit get in the way. And if it costs a few lives, so be it. And that was the end of the chapter, and I would think the end of the game as well. So are we going to have some final ending cutscene here, or... Okay, Murasame Blade unlocked. Awesome. Alright, alright, we'll see. Cutscene? Official pet, right, for yes. your family? But first, our top story. President Hamilton returns from Pakistan today, completing his first visit to the country since the failed assassination attempt in Shabazzbad last May. In meetings with Pakistani President Farooq Salam, the two leaders agreed to a new joint initiative in the War on Terror, whereby U.S. Marines will be stationed in Pakistan and given wider authority to conduct operations within the country. This is amidst growing tensions within Pakistan between the country's civil and military leadership, with many in the government calling on the ISI Military Intelligence Agency to be investigated... Unbelievable. After all that. For the last time, let it go, Courtney. At least Armstrong will never be president. But, I mean, Ryden... There he is. I have excellent news. We are approved. The new corporation is established. Nice work, Doc. I guess the world's first cyborg staffing firm is officially open for business. We are certified for construction and long-term nursing care, but this is just the beginning. The potential for new roles cyborgs can play is limitless. And we're sure this isn't child labor? So all the pre uh, children can work now, the rest when they come of age. And it's strictly voluntary, you know. We're not running a charity here, huh? Oh. Eh? <laughs> Donations alone would not even cover their maintenance. Besides, this way they'll learn a trade. Perhaps some discipline, huh? Eh? It's not a perfect solution. But you know what? At least these kids will get a decent education. Well, I'm not about to return them to the streets, or to broken homes. At least we can give them a chance, <laughs> huh? <No. laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops. Uh, an imperfect solution for an imperfect world. Well, another benefit. A peaceful application for all my research. <laughs> <laughs> Since when do you care? Well, recent events have been food for thought, shall we say? No kidding. Speaking of recent events, how's our new recruit working out? Ah, yes, quite well. Quite well. Oi, Sunny! Where you have me again? Hang on. Just give me one second. Yeah, okay. You make me head spin, you know? Mm. You're the same age as me? But all this spaceship, you're a genius, girl. Mm -hmm. And you're hot for days. Huh? Where did that come from? Oh. 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 Oh.
Alert. Alert. Rescinded. <laughs> this is about a crazy world, nah? <laughs> For me, see that ninja. Me never think I've been this kind of life. Yeah. Huh? He rescued me too, you know. Saved my life. I owe him everything. To some people, he'll always be Jack the Ripper. I know all about his past. He had it rough. And he hurt a lot of people. Hmm. But that's not the Raiden I know. The Raiden I know... ...is a hero. Credits rolling now? Let's see. There we go. All right. And that will be the game. All right. Definitely have a lot of fun with this game. Quinton Flynn, that's the same guy who uh, voices Axel in Kingdom Hearts, in case you didn't know. I know some people left comments and thought, like, are they the same person or not? And yes, they are indeed. Hence the reason why I have been making some Kingdom Hearts references throughout this uh, Let's Play walkthrough thingy, but um, it was definitely a lot of fun, although it was kind of short, the main game, uh, but still a lot of fun, especially with the, uh, where the end was kind of... It just kind of ended all of a sudden, because the last couple chapters were like, what, 10 minutes long, you know, not uh, including the cutscenes, and that was that, and then we kind of just had the final boss fight. And uh, then that was it, but other than that, it was definitely a lot of fun, enjoyed that. The gameplay, the cutting everything in half is, uh, well, the main part of the gameplay is done well, with the cutting and the slicing and the stuff. I guess if I would have like some random minor complaints, I'd say like the, uh, what kind of confused me at the beginning at least was the uh, fact that like R1 does like everything for you, the ninja run, you run with that, you jump with that, you climb obstacles with that, and then you, there's like action commands with that, instead of like just, you know, pressing some random buttons, like, like the part where there's jumping, you're jumping over like the missiles and stuff. You know, that could definitely be with like some action commands, but instead it's just holding with R1 and R1 does like a bunch of stuff for you. And like the, at the beginning there was that uh, chasing scene and um, all you had to do like was R1, although you were, you were jumping over obstacles and everything, but you didn't actually do anything, you just had to press R1. Of course I didn't know that at the beginning, but I'm just going, to, going in random tangents, but you know, that's kind of just a minor thing, but... The slicing, which is the meat of the game, is definitely done well, and uh, it was definitely this was definitely a better experience than uh, I expected. I, you know, had some doubts at the beginning because I was really excited when the first when this game was first announced as uh, Metal Gear Solid Rising, and it was supposed to tell kind of like fill in the time gap between Metal Gear Solid 2 and 4, but then it was moved to Platinum Games and. Uh, then Hideo Kojima decided to give them a bit more freedom and instead of telling the Metal Gear Solid story in there between 2 and 4 they decided to go with a different story like after Metal Gear Solid 4 and uh, not really have it based too much on the Metal Gear Solid universe and uh, gave Platinum Games the freedom and and uh, you know kind of just went with that but uh, it was still definitely a good game but still would have definitely liked to see the um, I would definitely like to see the uh, Metal Gear, the quote-unquote Metal Gear Solid Rising. And uh, who knows, maybe in the future this game will have sequels. Not really sure how well it's selling and uh, and stuff, how well the reviews with the game have gone overall, but uh, it was definitely a fun game. And uh, I truly hope so that this game will have 
a sequel in the future and maybe that would be, you know, a longer one and uh, maybe Platinum Games will, you know, learn from the few kind of mistakes that they made in this game and, you know, maybe, well, not exactly like mistakes but kind of they would, uh, since they did the first game, there are definitely things that they could do, they could do better in a sequel. Like, for example, make it longer, that would, that would definitely be nice and um, I guess another minor complaint I would have is about the camera angles because there are some tight spots and then the, the camera isn't really following you but you know that's that's a minor thing and overall doesn't uh, isn't that big of a deal which I'm just trying to get at but uh, you know just just my two cents but overall I, I, I would have to say a great game I would give uh, I'd say probably 8 out of 10 in the scale of 4 to 10 because uh, it was great but then it's just kind of it's just overall it ended short and in the end you know there's only the single player campaign in this game which is kind of unfortunate but then again there are the uh, higher difficulties which I will be definitely uh, trying out not really sure if I'm gonna be recording any of that although it would definitely be fun to do like the uh, the hardest difficulty which I do believe is Revengeance and then just record record that. You know, I, I, I was just kind of thinking what I could do is play this on sometime in the future maybe. Play this on Revengeance and just uh, have it without cutscenes. Are we having Metal Gear Solid music here? Is this going to turn into that or is this just going to... It's kind of the same kind of uh, music as in Metal Gear Solid 2. But I'm not really, not really sure if this is going to turn into that or into something else. But speaking of music, gotta say this game had awesome music. The boss, the boss fights, uh, especially. Oh man, they they were amazing. Really loved them. Jamie Christopherson, I do believe, which we can see on the screen, is he the guy who made the most of the music? Yeah, at least it says, yeah, Red Sun was there and he did that and he did a bunch of other songs, I do believe. I'm not really paying attention, but, uh, yeah, yeah, there's his name again with the song, so, yeah, but this game had awesome music. It was like a rock slash metal, that's my favorite kind of music, by the way, rock and metal music, and uh, there were kind of rock metal-ish songs in this game, in the boss fights, and the boss fight is itself... In every Metal Gear Solid game, and well, in Metal Gear games in general, the boss fights have already always been kind of the meat, and they have been really, really addict addictive and fun to do. And that was also the case in this game. And coupled with the awesome music, it was a great, awesome experience, which I really, really enjoyed. But uh, it's kind of a shame that it's now over. You know, the game was kind of short, but uh, what can you do? It was still. A great experience, kind of came out of nowhere, it was a new kind of Metal Gear game and uh, more fast paced, definitely, and action packed and it was nice to see a different kind of Metal Gear game and uh, gotta say, it turned out great and this was a fun experience and let's see, do we have some extra bonus cutscene maybe at the end? And how's business? Yup. Oh good, good. The Herb Doctor's research and staffing service certainly help. I hear world marshals looking for a buyer. <laughs> well, you cost them a lot of money, no? Not to mention killing their funding. Literally. <laughs> now, the bread-taking program is finished, but the larger company is not, I'm afraid. Now, someone will buy them. PMCs are in demand once again. Yeah. Fighting for reasons they don't understand. Causes they don't believe in. Big pardon? No. Nothing. Oh. So, your mind is made? You will not come back. Sorry, Boris. I understand. But then, what will you do? <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got my own war to fight. Hopefully, that will be in a sequel. That would definitely be fun, I'd say. Is there anything else going on with this screen? Is it going to fade away? Is it going to stay here? Or watch, can I press start, maybe? 
Yes, it's loading. Alright. Well, that was a horrible rank. Passing rank, complete normal or higher. Yes. In less than 8 hours. Awesome. Mr. 1%, complete normal or higher difficulty while earning that much points. Samurai, blah blah blah, using the high frequency blade as a weapon. Uh, battle tested. Uh, blah blah blah, okay. Jack to the Cut your enemies at least thousand times using blade mode. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Thousand times. Awesome. Yeah, horrible rank, but this was my, this was my first time uh, playing this game and that's how I wanted it to be. To be the first kind of experience so that I will have, you know, fresh and new uh, reactions to what's going on and having no idea what's going to, what I, what I have to expect is definitely fun experience and that's the experience I wanted to share with you guys and I believe we are at the title screen yes we are um, probably didn't get any extra difficulties out of this so I'll need to uh, play on hard I got the hard difficulty in chapter 4 I've been playing it a bit and I uh, need to finish that and then I do believe I can unlock some higher difficulties I guess after hard you get the very hard and then you get the revenges after you beat that so I'll have to look into that but uh, I guess you guys can leave your comments would you be interested in seeing like a revengeance walkthrough at some point although I, I'm definitely fearing that I'm gonna get my ass beaten horribly in that but uh, you know I'm gonna be playing it regardless but uh, I'll have to see I have to see if I'm going to be recording that but uh, you leave your comments uh, tell me what you think would be the kind of walkthrough just without cutscenes, all about action and uh, cutting everything in half. And uh, I, I think it could be fun, uh, but I'll definitely need to uh, try out that first and uh, see how difficult it is. I've heard some bad words about, especially about the final boss. And oh man, oh man. And I guess a few words at the end. I guess I could talk about the story. It was kind of, I don't know. Compared to Metal Gear Solid games, you know, of course we have to compare it to Metal Gear Solid. It wasn't really as epic, and it was like definitely shorter, and then things kind of just... At first things just kind of started moving slowly, there was like two two of the first chapters were like, Hey, what's going on here? There was the assassination of the uh, Prime Minister, and that was like, okay, that guy died, so then we go after some bad guys. Uh, without actually knowing what's really going on. Then the uh, plot kind of thickened at the halfway through with the uh, child soldiers and the brains and the kidnappings and everything. And then there was the... Uh, the thing what I didn't really like that uh, with the final boss, there was really not that big, big hype for him. Because we didn't really get too much information. You know, we just... There was that one tape about him and then he was mentioned like only a couple of times. That there's this politician dude and he's a giant deuce back and he has a bunch of money and he's like behind and funding all this but other than that there was like no big things like talked about him before the final fight then he just kind of suddenly appeared out of nowhere with his metal gear and he was like hey i'm kind of a cyborg too i got some nano machines and now i'm pumped up and now i'm gonna kill you and ward economy is a bitch and blah 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 de blah so that kind of just, they didn't really give that guy too much time to be a great final opponent as opposed to something like Sam. You know, we saw him at the beginning, he was a bitch to ride in and uh, he cut out his arm and uh, he, he, he really humiliated him. I think he would have been like a greater final boss, but then again he kind of just turned out to be the greatest eight of Raiden and kind of uh, turned out to be, first he was like an anti-hero, but then he turned out to be kind of a hero himself and uh, he decided to fade to really uh, decide what's gonna happen to Raiden and then, you know, he, Raiden got his sword and it was, things kind of escalated nicely with Sam and, uh, you know, getting the sword to Raiden and then fighting with Sam's sword who turned out to be a great guy in the end, so that was kind of cool, but still the final boss, like, there was just the little... It, it just turned out he's a asshole politician with some assholeish plans, 
and then that just kind of escalated fast in the end. But the thing with Sam, the uh, jet stream was still kind of cool. So uh, the story wasn't that bad, but it wasn't really the greatest one either. So there's that. But um, anyways, I think I have rambled enough, but I just kind of wanted to... Now since this is the final episode, you know, I just kind of wanted to share my uh, thoughts and, and feelings of the game, how I felt and experienced the story and the gameplay and everything. And I think I got most of the things that I wanted to say, at least, and the most important ones that I kind of had on top of my uh, list of things to say what I was kind of feeling at the moment. And anyways, but... Um, Anyways, <laughs> I definitely think I have rambled for uh, enough now, so uh, thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. Hopefully some of you actually listened through my ramble thoughts and ramblings at the end as well. But uh, this will do out of this walkthrough. I guess I could also do the VR missions. They were kind of fun. Last time I played that was in like Metal Gear Subsistence. The, or the Substance. Was Subsistence the... One that came out with the three, or and substance, substance with the two. I don't remember, but I think the second one, Substance game had those VR missions at least, and they were, they were kind of fun. And I guess these ones could be kind of. I I might do those, but then again, I could just do the revenge and walk through at some point without any cutscenes and stuff, and be that kind of action-packed, kind of a shorter, extra LP. Possibly, I've beaten the other Metal Gear games in Extreme, so. And Extreme is the highest difficulty, although Europeans have the European Extreme, which is usually just that you cannot get caught. Other than that, it's the same difficulty, which is kind of slightly boring. Because it's fun to do it low on Extreme and then get the stealth camo and the infinite ammo and then just goof around with the enemies. But <laughs> anyways, that was a random a random tangent, just, just randomly ex escalated. But now, I definitely think I have said everything that I have to say. So thank you so much uh, for watching this uh, walkthrough slash let's play and uh, I might be seeing you with more Metal Gear Rising in the higher difficulty possibly in the future but we'll see but this will definitely be enough for this let's play and this will be the final episode so yeah again thank you for watching and until next time with more future shenanigans, more different let's plays and all that good stuff and everything and maybe more of MGR. Who knows? So, until uh, next time, until with future shenanigans, this is the Flaming Spade, signing out. Peace.